Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys how to extract the first and last name and an email from a single column that looks like this into three separate columns like this. And I'll be showing you guys how to do this in four very simple steps. And these are the four steps and we'll just be using uh, basically three formulas. These three formulas are really great to learn anyway. So this is a great way to learn them and apply them into other aspects of Google Sheets. So let's say you get a column that looks like this, where you get someone's first, middle, and last name, and then their email address in brackets that looks like this, right? Now, sometimes you're gonna get only the first and the last name. Sometimes you're gonna get a super long name like this, um, Anna, Karen, Lisa, Jordan, that has four names, or in this case, this one has three names, right? Um, but all we really want is we want to split these into separate columns with just the first and the last name. So we're gonna ignore the middle names here, right? And we also want the email. So this is the desired output and this is the data that we have, but we don't wanna do this manually. So I wanna show you guys exactly how to do this. Um, it's basically just gonna be done in four separate steps. So let's uh, let's say the, we have this list here, right? So I put it onto a separate tab so we can work on it together. So the first step we're gonna do is we're going to isolate the name from the email using split and index, right? So this one is gonna be isolate name from, isolate name using split plus index. So all we're gonna do here is the goal is just to separate this name from this email, right? If you don't have an email in your particular column, then you can skip this step. But all we're going to do is we're gonna use a split formula, which is one of my favorite formulas to use, so it's great to learn it very, very well. So I'm going to split, and then I'm going to reference to this cell, and then put a comma, and then we're gonna split it by this bracket right here, right, which is a less than sign. So we're gonna put that into quotes. So that just tells this formula that we're gonna split this entire text every time there's a less than sign. Now what it does is it basically will give us two columns, right? So if I drag this formula all the way down, it's going to give me the name and then it's going to split it at this, right? And then now what we wanna do is we wanna wrap this in the index formula. And what the index does is it returns whichever column um, you want, right? So in this case, I want the first column, which is only going to be the name and not the email, right? So if I do index parentheses and then I put a comma and I put one, then all I get is this name, right? It's the first column, not the second column. If I change this to two, then I would get the email, right? So let's change this back to one and pull this all the way down. So now we have the first step, which is we have just the name isolated. Now the next thing we wanna do, let me wrap this. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to isolate the first name. Now the first name is really simple. All we're gonna do is use a split formula again. So isolate first name. So now we're just gonna use split and then we're going to click over here, put a comma, and now we're gonna split it at the, at the very first space, right? So what this, um, what this formula does when you put in a space, so you're gonna put in just quotation marks, a space, and then another quotation mark, and hit enter. And now when I drag this formula all the way down, what it's going to do is it's going to split this um, this cell into separate columns at every single space that we have here. But for the first name, it's really simple. All we really want is the first is the first column, right? And the way that we're gonna get that is by using the index again. So I'm going to index and then just hit one because that's the first column that I want. So now you see here, I get the first column. If I were to change the index in this case to like two, I would get this word. If I were to change it to three, whoops, there's no four. So if I were to change it to three, I would get the last name, right? So I'm going to change it back to one. So now I have a column here where I have the first name. Now this is one of the final columns that we need, so I can just kind of highlight this as green. This is one of the answers that we want. Now, third step we wanna do in order to get the last name, right? Now to get the last name, the first thing we need to do is we need to count the number of words inside this, inside each cell, right? So we count the number of words. And the way that we do that is we again use the split formula. So I'm going to split this by a space, same thing we did before, and I'm going to drag this formula all the way down. Now, the way that I'm going to count is I'm going to use the count a formula. So 
I'm just going to wrap this in count A. And what count A does is it counts the number of values in the data set. Um, it's different than just the count formula. The count just counts numbers, right? So this counts the number of strings or words, right? And then, so I'm just going to wrap it in count. And then now if I drag this down, it's going to tell me the number of words um, based on the number of spaces basically, right? So this case you'll see here, this one has four words and then this one has three words, right? So now step four is basically going to be extract last name. Let me show you how we're going to use the, the number of words to get that. So this last step is extract last name. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing, which is split by the number of spaces. So I'm splitting the, the name by the number of spaces, just like we did before. Whoops, quotation marks and a space. And I'm going to drag this down. Now, now we're going to use index again, right? But instead of using index one, like how we did over here, we now we're going to use the index and then and then the number the number column that we want is based on this uh, column over here, the number of words, right? So in this case, we're going to index. We're going to want two. In this case, we're going to want three. In this case, we're going to want four, right? Um, and then you'll see here it makes sense when we just use this column here, right? So now I'm going to type in index, comma. Now instead of putting any number, I'm just going to reference this column. And now if I drag this all the way down, you'll see here for these long ones, I'm index indexing four because there's actually three or four words in it, and I'm getting Elwood instead of any other name, and I'm getting Rivera instead of any other name here, right? So that's basically how you would do it. And this is also one of the final returns that we want, right? So these two columns are what we want. Now, the last thing we want to do is if we have something like this, we also want the email address in a separate column, right? Now, this is like a little bonus. I'll show you guys how to do it. This is really simple. We're going to split it again by the less than sign, right? So now we're going to have the email address in the second column every, every other time. So I think you guessed it. We're going to use index two whoops, two, and return the second column, right? Now, this second column is great, except that it has this uh, greater than sign that we, that we want to get rid of. Now, to get rid of this, it's really simple. We're going to use a substitute formula. Now, I'm just going to wrap this entire thing in a substitute. Now, for the substitute, uh, whoops, substitute, substitute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search that this text right here, the one that we have, I'm going to search for, I have to put this in quotation marks, the greater than sign, and then a comma, then I'm going to replace it with nothing. Now I can either just put two blank quotation marks or leave it blank and hit enter. Now you'll see here it's been replaced with nothing, right? And I'll drag this all the way down and you'll see now I have step five or the bonus step, email. So these are the three columns that I want, right? Now, depending on the requirements of your report, you can basically just rearrange them and then now you have them next to each other, right? But let's say you don't want to have all these other helper columns. These are essentially all helper columns, right? It's quite simple because this is the original data, data set and then let's move the answers over here. So we want the first name, we want the last name and we want the email, right? But we don't want to have to reference, reference um, these columns, right? We want to reference the actual ones. Now, all you have to do is go back into each formula and replace whatever. So this one's referencing F2, right? So instead of referencing F2, just go to F2, take this formula, except for the, for the equal signs, copy it. Whoops. So copy, I'm going in here, I'm copying this formula. So I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to click back into here. And now instead of referencing F2, I'm just going to paste in what I just pasted. Now it's only referencing this one, right? I'll hit enter and I can drag this one down. Now for this one here, same thing. I'm going to, it references F2 and G2, right? So I'm going to take F2, I'm going to copy it again, and then I'm going to replace it with that. And then I'm going to take G2 and then I'm going to replace G2 with that here. And you'll see here, there's another reference to F2. So I'm going to take F2 again, and then I am going to paste it in here. So now we're only referencing this one. Now we don't need this one, right? We're going to do the same thing for email. Now we're going to take the email. Let's see, 
So the email actually only references A2, which so this is good. So now I can delete this. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so there was one reference here. Oh, I didn't drag this down. Whoops. Okay, so let me drag this down here. And now I can delete this and I have first name, last name, and email. Now, whatever I add to the bottom here, let's say I put in like Michael Jordan and then I put mj at gmail.com in the same thing, right? If I drag this formula down, it's going to give me my correct answer. So this is basically how you do it. It's really simple. Um, you basically just need to master uh, index and split. They're really great formulas to use. And then um, you can basically clean up data like this, right? So I'll leave this sheet for you guys to download in the description below. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.